Hey there guys, today we've got a ton of content for Season 4, um, not Season 4, uh, The Tower, The Princess Trial, The Sheraton Trial, Garuda, etc. And in this video, I, or in this stream, I figured I would just stream some of it for something to do. So, in just a second, we're going to start on the, um, the Princess Trial as I get my chat set up. There we go. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, had it set correct, incorrect. What's up, guys? Uh, yeah, I just figured I'd, I'd stream um, the Princess Trial. You know, I'll definitely do a video for YouTube later, but uh, for now, I will just stream for something to do. And then we'll go to, like, you know, the Tower, the Sheridan fight, etc. Might be a long stream, especially once we get to the uh, the tower part. But let's see here. So I've got a team built for Sheraton. Uh, yeah, we're gonna try this team initially, and then from there we'll see what happens. Good morning. All right. So last night I asked a bunch of friends of mine to build me units, um, and apparently the Sheraton trial. I'm not the Sheraton. The Queen trial is not available. Uh, through the vortex, um, either like a UI glitch, maybe maybe they'll fix it later, etc. But uh, apparently, it's not available. It's not available through the vortex, so we're gonna have to go the old-fashioned way by running there. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna go here. We're going to go into the distortion and go to the red chamber of arms, and this will give us the. The princess fight. I keep calling it the princess fight. It's not the princess. She's a queen. Anyway, deal light damage. No more than five items. Um, no KOs. What? Was that a mission in JP? No KOs? That's... Okay. Well, anyway, it doesn't really matter. The real the real thing that matters are the special missions. Um, and we're going to go with a Rikt. A Rikt friend. So, let's see. Oh, here's one. Are we death immune? We are not death immune. Big sad face. All right. Let's see here. We're gonna need death immune friends. Here we go. Omega weapon. Death immune. Status immune. Here we go. Okay. This is this is one that I asked. Yep. It's exactly what I asked for. And we're good. Okay. Let's give it a go. Let's see if this works. So let's try this out. <laughs> so I I haven't done this fight in six months. Oh, hold on one second. So you're a wise and tender soul, but you should know what's been saying, what he's been saying recently. You're plotting for the throne. I suspect nothing of the sort. After all, you're my darling sister-in-law. You think I would whisper untruths. That's pretty cool. Okay, so for those that don't know, the like storyline of this this queen is Sheraton was uh, like the princess of a kingdom. I don't know the I don't know the whole specific story, but it's like she was the princess of a kingdom. This is her stepmother, the king's wife, but not not her mother. So they remarried or whatever. Um, and I forget, I forget, I, I, I read about this in JP. Yeah, so like, the queen poisoned Sheraton, stepmom. The queen like poisoned Sheraton and the whole family or something? I don't know. I guess I guess I guess I guess I, guess I, guess I really should have read this recently. In any case, it's kind of cool that there's actually lore involved in this boss. Uh, but anyway, so. Yeah, I haven't done the fight in like six months. It's relatively hard. Um, so I do know she dispels on turn one. So we're going to... God, do we need Mirage on turn one? I don't remember. I don't know. <laughs> um, let's do... I guess we can do burgeoning defense. Or 
Why is Sylvie skilled level one? What skill? Oh, she's definitely got all her stuff maxed out. What skill is what skill is level one? Whoops. Go back to Sylvie. Yeah, they're all maxed out. Um, that's max. Unless the game unmaxed it for me, but it's definitely maxed. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so let's see here. So let's go ahead and do a human killer on Rick and we're gonna chronic flow and we don't want a parasol shield yet we don't want a miniature might yeah we're, we're getting dispelled in like two seconds so yeah we're about to get dispelled so let's cover and do some breaks let's see ace can do let's do light imbue let's do mirage for the party Let's do Light in Peril, and I don't know what else. I don't care what else. It doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. Anyway, and we do Smell B. <laughs> Four out of five, you guys are Global Exclusive. Yeah, Global Exclusives are pretty good. On GP, I use Squall. All right, and oh my god. Okay, yeah, this is a little bit easier on a little bit easier on global than, than JP. Um, wow. I hope they didn't nerf the fight. They probably didn't. It's probably just like the extreme power difference between global and JP. Because like, you know, global and JP are big difference. Um, we got completely dispelled. Uh, let's see. Magic immunity. Yeah, we're completely dispelled. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, phase, phase one was was always easy in JP. It's just true that, um, yeah, Squall is not good on turn one. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what it is. It gets a lot harder in phase two and three. Um, so, let's see here. So, we're going to Enlytra. Uh, this, and let's Mirage again. So, we're getting to Threshold right here. We can just fill LB gauge. Uh, no, this one only has one difficulty. But there's special missions which make it harder. Oops, I clicked Melissa by accident. I, whoops. Okay, it's probably not going to matter because it's a threshold. But yeah, I wasted most of it. We can dispel it again anyway, so really, who cares? Um, I forgot what the boss does on dispel. What the boss does on threshold. Let's just do this. I don't know. Yeah, I've wasted Melissa's turn. But, so we're getting dispelled again. Thank you for picking those herbs. You've done well. For your efforts, I've made you some soup. Yeah, so here's like the storyline where she like poisoned. So she she uh, poisoned the family. All the servants were aghast or their queen wanted to cook, but I insisted. I had it taken up to your room. You could have come before it gets cold. What's wrong? Up to your room, you go. Have some of my homemade soup before it gets cold. Hurry now, hurry, hurry, and have some soup. Some poison soup. That's so wrong. She poisoned the whole family. And here we go, phase two. And the dispel. Okay. Um, so now in phase two, the boss has permanent, unremovable stat buffs. A small attack and magic buff, but a... I, I think a 60% defensive spirit in phase two, and it goes to 150 in phase three, which is ridiculous. But uh, yeah, the boss is a lot bulkier here. Um, in any case, let's go ahead. Also, the boss will start getting buffs you have to dispel. 65%, okay, yeah. Uh, we need to start dispelling the boss as well. So we're gonna dispel, and let's do some breaks with the, oh, actually we wanna do some the boss dispels us this phase as well. I forgot how often we get dispelled this, this phase. I don't think this turn, though. All right, so we're going to do... Let's do it this way. Let's do Luminous, Radiant, and Bolting. Let's do Luminous. No, we don't, we, don't, we don't need to both do Radiant. So Luminous, 
Bolting Absolute. Let's have you do quad. Let's go ahead and mirage the party. Let's in Lytra. Let's... I don't really need to do that, but we're going to do it anyway. And this is his mod boost. It is. Yeah, this, this we're not worried about damage this turn. Alright, let's come back to you. Let's have Melissa do shared immunity. Let's do human killer. Let's do minutes of might. Let's have Abigail. We need to cover. We're going to cover. Let's show... Oh, we didn't break. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Wait a minute. No, we're going to cover. No, we're going to do killers next turn. Let's do buff, buff, and... Healing over time. Alright, and then Abigail can do cover. Break. And... We don't need any of this. Okay, this should be fine. Yeah, I should have done it like a turn chart beforehand. So I, 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 I forgot what the boss. I know the boss dispels and uh, physical, etc. But so we got dispelled again. Seriously, oh my god! So we, we did all that setup for no reason. Completely dispelled. Awesome. Awesome. So we're gonna have the LB. I guess we use Ace to handle it. So Ace. Will and Lytra. Let's Mirage again. And imperil the boss. Thankfully, the boss doesn't dispel himself anymore, so that's good. Uh, so Sylvie is going to Insect Killer. Um, and then whatever. Oh, we got dispelled. So Shared. Let's go ahead and Parasol and Human. And Abigail can cover. Shelga. And Protectka. Alright, let's do some damage here. I, mean, I wanted to do damage with Ace and all that, but uh, it didn't work out. Alright. Pirate Bloom. Venom. Uh, let's see, the boss is not buffed. Alright, so we're going to just burst again. We can go ahead and do this. Let's. Actually, let's do it with Sylvie. Oh, Sylvie's berserked. Oh my god. That's so irritating. So, actually, if Sylvie's berserked, uh, it's fine. Yeah, the boss does Berserk in this phase on your pro. You can cure it, but uh, I, I, that's one thing I didn't do is bring a way to cure Berserk. So uh, we're just going to have to just let her wear, wear off over time. It'll wear off. Not, not a big deal. All right, a little bit of damage here. The next threshold is at 20%, which we're going to probably hit next turn. So we're definitely going to get the turn combination, it looks like. Yeah, the turn count mission should be fine. Alright, I think Sylvie's still berserked here. So, uh... We don't have her again. Yeah, so far, Rift is, like, tearing this up. Like, really good. Uh, phase 3 is the hard phase, though, but... I, like, like, I, like I said in, the, in, like, the news video, I, I'm pretty sure... It's not gonna be that much of a problem on Global. Uh, some of the missions might be. Like, the Season 4 only mission that's gonna obviously be a huge headache. Alright, Ace. Um, let's see. So let's do this. Wait, wait, wait. And there it is. Third third threshold. Uh, six turns so far. So now it gets trickier. Um, there is a threshold again. Yeah. 
I think we're I think we're getting dispelled again, so we're just gonna go ahead and um, fill LB gauge. All right, now the boss gets a, either 150 or 200 percent unremovable defensive spirit buff. Gets a lot bulkier, and he starts to heal. But with our damage per turn, the healing's not gonna be a problem. And there's a dispel again. Awesome. Okay. All right, so here we go. Um. God. Okay, so I'm gonna do some setup again, and I don't remember when the boss does his uh, dispel. So we're gonna just hope it's not this turn, because we're gonna go 150 amplify, um, absolute, and bolting. Uh, let's see this. So this, yeah, this turn is not gonna be a damage turn, which is fine. So it's Enlytra, it's Mirage this and uh we can't do his lb thing um no we're getting slb next turn so just whatever let's see here for you let's do human let's do immunities and let's do a shelga let's do insect Insect and let's do a mirage, and you will cover and some breaks. Okay, please don't dispel me this turn. Uh, I think phase two it dispels for two out of five turns. Phase three I don't remember at all. So please don't dispel on the first turn in phase in phase three. Oh my god. Oh, there's the Dispel. So it was, it was the first turn in Phase 3. Awesome. And we lost Ace. We failed a mission. <laughs> so there goes our 150 Amplifies. That's fun. Um, okay, let's reapply it. So we'll burst with a 35% Amplify. Awesome. Yeah, so for the for like the, the good clear, I'm definitely going to have to sit down and do like a turn chart and stuff. Oh boy. So immunity, it's minutes of might, um, and we're on cooldown, awesome. Ah, uh, we gotta cover again, so cover, uh, we need Shelga, and I guess Protecta. Wow. We're doing a really good damage. You know what? Okay, so we're gonna... Let's start a 150 Amplify, because why not? Or 100 Amplify. Bolt Egg and... Cheerful. Okay. Yeah, the global power creep is real good. It's just it's just that Rikt is really good at Trials. So is, like, Ibarra. Ibarra is probably gonna be great here as well. Um... Even like 2B is probably going to be really good here. Alright, Ace definitely needs more bulk. Oh, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Alright, so let's have you do... Let's do a burst for a bigger imperil. Let's do amp yourself. Let's do light yourself. And make this count. We're gonna burst you next turn. You're not quite filled, which is fine. We can do insect. Uh, those aren't ready. So we do this. LBU. We can SLBU. And let's. All right. We're probably gonna win on turn ten if I had to imagine. Why did the boss take less damage? Oh, we multi-imbued. It's fine. Um, let's parasol. And fill some LB. We're gonna burst again next turn with a 100 amplify. If we don't get a spell. If we do get a spell, I'll feel bad. You know what I haven't done is Demon Killer. 
I have not done a single demon. I forgot about demon killer with Sylvie. I forgot the boss's triple race. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm uh, Kazuki. I'm definitely gonna do a bunch of reruns. Um, you know, over over time, etc. Uh, oh my God, I know Sylvie's berserk. I forgot there was berserk in phase three as well. I'm so all, I'm so like all over the place with uh, the clear. All right, it's fine. Um, let's human again, and uh, show and protect. It's fine. Oh, come on, come on, come on! Ugh, no. I think the boss heals this turn too. We actually might not get a twelve turn clear because of that. Oh, there's the dispel. Uh, oh, but no heal though. No, we're good. No buffs. Yeah, so turn eleven clear. It's fine. Yeah, the heal must be the, the boss heals once per either five or six turns in phase three. Uh, so yeah, so we win. So yay. Go ahead and fill some LB gauge. We did get dispelled, so let's go ahead and rebuff. Let's. Okay, so I, I did say to people earlier that Ace is not a big deal. Um, and he's really not for his damage and leader skill. You can use, like, Squall and stuff. But I gotta say, Ace, Ace re-imbuing the party has been very nice. So that's that's convenient. Um, we're gonna win. I don't know why I'm doing all this, but just to be safe. Seconds of support, why not? And Sylvie will... Uh, so yeah, I never did Demon Killer the entire fight until just now. So that's fun. Um, but whatever. Yeah, oh yeah, the boss dispels a lot. Thankfully, the boss only dispels us in phase two and three, but both sides in phase one. Oh, Squall does have Enlika? Oh, okay, so Squall can do the same thing then. So yeah, so, so Squall will be totally fine instead of Ace. Um, so here's the, here's the team we use. Uh, I, just, I just threw it together. So Sylvie is our passive provoker, decent bulk, um, death immunity. The whole party has death immunity. You need death immunity. Uh, full evasion as well, and then just other than that, whatever, you know, physical bulk, because she's taking the physical stuff. Um, Melissa, death immune, bulk, other than that, status immunity, etc. Uh, Abigail is, um, we are full evasion, I don't think it matters for, for her, but uh, we actually didn't use Omni Cover. Uh, but again, death immunity, uh, counter build, etc. Um, Ace, uh, did die. We failed a mission, unfortunately. Ace died, and uh, we don't have we don't have we don't have to know that mission. But we'll, we'll, we'll get that on a rerun. Um, you know, maxed all three killers, and there we go. I gave him that card, and then Myrick, uh, eighteen point five. There we go. Maxed on everything. Uh, Sylvie has that much HP because mostly because of the vision card. Uh, this is the highest HP vision card in the game. Jex uh, premium card, five thousand base HP. And that um, gives you a lot of HP. And then here's the friend we took. Omega Weapon is the literally exact same as mine. And there was the clear. Uh, you missed this clear, but we have a lot of missions to do. So we're going to be doing a bunch more clears in the future. So I'll, I'll, also, I'll also just do some on YouTube. Um, as we kind of expected on Global, it's so much easier than on JP, just, just because of the higher quality of units. I don't think the fight was nerfed. It seemed to be overall the same fight, it's just that the power level on global was just way higher. Um, and yeah, as you see, Ace didn't really deal damage. He's just here as a leader skill and a support unit. I think Squall would have actually been a better. Squall would be a lower leader skill, but um, Squall would deal more consistent damage. Yeah, well, the reason it was 200 turns is because in Phase 3, the boss heals. And if you can't deal consistent, extremely high damage, the boss keeps healing over and over and over in Phase 3. And uh, that's why it took so long. Uh, Jaden would probably work. I don't think Jaden... Oh, Jaden is a 500 leader, isn't he? Honestly speaking, if you're going Jaden, I would almost consider it better to go just a fire party and use Flaring Rain as a leader. Because rain, for one thing, can buff the support units. Not that it really matters, but rain can buff the support units. Um, also, Abigail can do fire, imbuing, and peril as well. 
so it would give rain more time to just freely damage and, and not do rebuffing. But yeah, Jaden would probably work as well. Jaden or um or or uh or Squall. Um you could also use uh what's the other one? And by the way, the game on the home screen like freezes for me frequently. So normally on, on YouTube on YouTube videos, you know, I'll skip this freezing part, but uh yeah, while streaming I can't skip, so we're gonna have small pauses on the stream as we go to the home screen. All right, so the missions. Now we have to go back there. Yeah, so normally I do item world and all, but because the maintenance just came up, I wanted to come straight into the stream. Uh, so let's find the special quest for this. And here we go. So we did 25, 18, and 12 turns. Um, so we've got now an EX2 Sheraton, and honestly speaking, EX2 is all you really need for Sheraton. The unit herself is not that great. All you want is a really nice STMR, which you get at EX2. But if we now do the rest of these missions, we'll get EX3. So Season 4 only, Brave Exvius only. Wait, we, we, we did Brave Exvius only. Who was, who was not Brave Exvius last? Oh, Ace. Ace messed, that, messed up for us. Yeah, so for, the, for, for a reclear, I'll just go back and I'll swap out Ace for Rain and get the Brave Exvius only mission. Um, we got to clear with Sheraton on the party. And then this one. Um, season 4 units only is the one that we're going to have troubles with. And yeah, these missions are permanent. So if you can't do these right away, they are permanent duration, etc. <laughs> Ace is your very right foot. Yeah, Ace is... Ace is, I mean, he's, 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 he's a Dark Wizards unit. So really all, all there is about that. So let's go ahead and add Sheraton real quick. We'll grab that STMR. What? Oh, we have it filtered. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I'll definitely go back and record um, all of this. Also, when I go back to record for YouTube, I will uh, have a turn chart and all. So I'll have it really planned out. We're not, we're not going to be wasting all. We, we literally, every single setup burst we did was followed by a dispel turn. Because I just didn't, I, I didn't remember. So yeah, we, like did our, we, did our, we did our 150 amplifies, got dispelled. We did our uh, mod boost for ace, got dispelled. We did, you know, all, this, all the setup and every time we got dispelled just because I didn't make a turn chart and I didn't, I didn't, didn't recall which turn was which. And there is our 100% insect killer STMR. Yeah, the S4, the season four only mission is going to be hard, mostly because you want Riddar for magic tanking. Honestly speaking, maybe it's possible to go without a magic tank and just not have a magic tank period, and not need Riddar. If that's the case, maybe I can. Maybe I can do it. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Let's grab this. And now let's go get our Holy Wand real quick. Alright. With the new Mot Seer Fies list. Um, if they're, if, 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 if they're Season 4, then yes. And they should be Season 4. So yeah, they should work. Let's go do Sheraton real quick. Yeah, me, me either, no name. I don't have Snoblinka or Riddar, so it'll be a little tricky for me. Um, Tyvis does have a 300% leader skill for Season 4. So Tyvis can give you like a smaller leader skill than, um, than Snoblinka. Oh, oh, wrong one. Hold on. Yeah, went to the, the old one. Yeah, they actually changed it where you can actually rerun the original fights. If you, you know, if, remember, remember the, the original fights used to be if you failed a mission... Um, once you beat it, you couldn't go back. You couldn't do the mission. Well, now you can. But thankfully, I did them all years and years ago. So let's go to the new version. And um, so fire damage, 20 turns or less, no KOs. Uh, we'll just grab a friend. This is going to be super, super easy. We're not even built for it, but who cares? Yeah, this is the EX stage of the old Sheraton, which... Um, is harder, but not really. Um, I don't recall. All right, hold on. We need to do fire damage. Fire damage done. Let's imbue the party. 
It's Mirage the party. It's in peril the boss. Uh, so let's come back to you. Melissa. Let's immunity. It's chronic. And I think the boss is a human plant by memory. So cover. Let's do break and break. Uh, you will do mitigation. Let's do it this way. Okay. Yeah, this fight's gonna be very, very easy. Oh, we didn't didn't OTK. Interesting. It doesn't matter. We have, we, we have, we have twenty turns. Yeah, they 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 they, they gave a new EX day. Yeah, she has, she has, she has a threshold at fifty percent. Um, she's gonna HP lock and summon her little her little fruit things. Uh, let's see. Let's just fill LB gauge. Not quite enough. That's fine. Yeah, there's an HP lock at fifty percent. I think the boss might be a demon. I don't know. All right. And HP lock. Let's go ahead and bar dark you a little bit. <laughs> 69%. Yep. All right. So now the little fruit things come out. And we're going to probably OTK these as well. Yeah, this fight, this fight was not really intended to be hard. Alright, let's have Ace. Um, let's see, that's 150 amp. Let's uh, AoE imbue. Oh, it's single enemy. Uh-oh, hold on. All right, single enemy. So we need to imperil. Let's see. Imperil, where are we at? Amp, imperil, and get set up. So we're going to do it this way. They're probably auto-casting. There we go. Okay, Um. let's see. Sylvie, we need to fill LB gauge again. There we go. Uh, let's see, we need to break. So let's break, break. And... Cover, I guess? Okay, this is probably gonna kill the fruits. Oh, maybe not. Oh, wow, we didn't. Surprising. Oh well. Hope, hopefully, hopefully we don't die. No, we should be fine now. The boss has very low damage, and we now have mitigations and all. So. Oh, mana drain. We love mana drain. Don't care about mana drain with Abigail on the party. Yeah, we're not using like one, one bit the amplifies and all that, which is part of the problem that we're not OTKing. Uh, but it doesn't matter. We, we win right here. I think. Oh, yeah, we do. Not quite enough. Okay. And there is Sheraton. I'll have, like, a, you know, a proper video for this later. Um, whatever. We, 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 did, we didn't gear for it and all. So... Fine. Why didn't we kill the fruit of anger? Was he buffed? Not that it matters, because when you kill the when you kill the main body, um, they all die. But uh, why didn't the fruit of anger die? It's weird. Oh, I think they're resistant to light element. That's probably the problem. They're they have light resist, and we were going light. Oh well. Yeah, because on JP, I like two turned it or something or three turned it. I forget. But, uh, yay. Anyway, 
So 50 more fragments, too angry to die. Yeah, it seems that way. And now we can upgrade our Holy Wand. Oh, I've had lived and gone berserk. Yeah, like the, um, uh, the, the hands and, no, no, actually not the hand. What, what boss was, this? one of those old school bosses, if you killed him out of order, the, the remaining pieces. The flower, uh, Antonola. Yeah, Antonola, if you killed, killed the body and, and left the little vines alive, the vines went insane. Yeah, the plant boss. That was fun. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we killed Bialkia, um a lot easier on Global than JP. So, I guess now we're going to go to the tower and get Garuda. So, the tower, we're going to we're going to be in there for a bit. It's pretty long, but um unfortunately, I didn't actually make a team for the tower yet either. Uh so we we'll have to do that real quick. Yay! Two-handed Holy Rod. Oh, I wonder if there's a way to... <laughs> I wonder if there's a way to, to turn it back to the one-handed version in case you really want to. Alright, so here's here's going to be our tower team. Um, but it's not, it's not like, fully built yet. So, it's partially built. Yeah, so here we go. So here is our full accuracy... Tyvus. Wait a minute. No, it isn't. One, two... Nope, this is wrong. Alright, let me tab away from chat for a second while I look up the build I had. Alright. Raging... Yeah, this is actually wrong, so we need... Alright, so I'm not reading chat at the moment as I look at my build on a different monitor. Again, this is me not coming prepared. Should have had this done last night. But I was busy playing Sea of Stars. <laughs> uh, I already got that equipped. So, let's see. Dark Knight's Knowledge. We're going 200 accuracy. And... Dragon... Obliterating Katana. There we go. All right, let me get my chat back up. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna go. To the, we're gonna go to the tower now. Let's see here. Um. Hmm. Let's do it this way. You know, we could. No, it's not gonna work. Yeah, we have through this way. Oh, Sea of Stars is amazing. I am loving Sea of Stars. It is very, very fun. Uh, let's see. So you are properly built, right? Kind of, sort of. Soul evasion, passive provoke, uh, death immunity. We're not death immune. Why are we not death immune? Oh, wait a minute. Backup unit. There we go. Death immune, status immune, counters, etc. You're good. Um, your build honestly doesn't matter. We're not dealing damage with you. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Why are you wearing this? Fine. You're handled. We'll come back to you. Irony's ring and Blazara. Blazara. We need status immunity. These were geared for like a different fight. Uh, we don't want provoke on you. We're not doing that. We're not doing that setup. That's fine. Let's give you some mana regen. Oh, you know what we need? Um, well, not need. But you know what we want is some charm bangles. Can't spell, can I? Yeah, reduce encounter. Um, definitely, definitely reduce encounter. All 
All right, let's stick some whatever gear on these units, and we'll be good to go. I could gear um, Cal for damage and all, but it really doesn't matter, I don't think. We're going to have Typhus carry us. All right, let's go. Yeah, that's good enough. Chained, oh, Chained Echoes was amazing. Yes, I have played Chained Echoes. Um, beat the entire thing, 100%. Got all the got all the, the secrets and all. Love Chained Echoes as well. So let's see. Livonia Season 1. So this is how you upgrade it. You go to the first... Or how you unlock it. You go to the first chapter. You go to the Training Grounds. Yeah, Chained Echoes, um, yeah, it, it does kind of resemble Secret of Mana. It's basically like a like an old-school RPG, kind of like Chrono Trigger, etc. Very similar to those games. All right, let's see here. And we talked to... Oh, okay. Apparently I've never been here since it opened. Uh, this guy, not you this guy right here and he gives us the whole um i th think you can't run away from encounters in the uh and the tower we can try it though so let's go ahead and give cow escape. Yeah, we can try it. If it works. Oh, I know. Chain Echoes. Really cool. And here we go. Now we can go to the Seal Tower. Uh, half Energy. Awesome. Apparently there's story for it, which I'm not super worried about. I can always go back and watch it later. Uh, my 70 pull was Bart's and nothing else. Literally just Bart's. The the Neo Vision's Bart's. Got one red from it. He's not EX3, so I guess yay, but uh, we didn't get his upgrades either. Alright, no continues. Obtain all items and defeat the final boss in five turns. Alright, that should be fine. Um, we can take friends, so let's go ahead and filter. Available friends. Hopefully people set some friends for us. Uh, that one's fine, but... That's yeah, fine. Let's give it a go. First Rosa. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, R Rosa's one of those units that you really want one copy of. Um... Oh my god, that's right, we don't have a map, do we? Uh, we're gonna cheat and use the wiki. Sealed Tower level one. And here we go. So, Sealed Tower level one, we start right here. So, yeah, so level one is not too complicated, though. Um, I just don't want to miss any chest. All right, so these these floors can be activated through orbs. You got to find in, in the map to where you can cross them. You can like turn them on, turn them off, etc. Uh, let's see. So I'm gonna want an OTK strat for this. Let's see. Oh, first of all, can we run away? Can we run away? Nope, can't run away. Escape, grayed out. Sad face. So, no escaping. Of course it would be one hit. So, AUE bolting. AUE bolting.
Oh, you know what I didn't do is bring um, Obsidian Bracer on someone. Whoops. I should have brought Obsidian Bracer for the, the auto-breaking. Oh, well. Uh, Alright, so... Oh, my God. The... Okay, so get ready for a long stream because, yeah, this is a huge tower and there's an encounter every, every, every other step. It's so fun. Uh, the game will crash if you encounter if kill the boss a second time. So what you're saying is, uh, kill it the first time. <laughs> yeah, and you can't run away too. So here's the map right there, but we can't get the map until we... Oh my god, ah! Yeah, we can't get the map until we unlock the um, the orb thing. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, so you're saying is we have to get all the missions and all the crowns and all the first try. Oh no, TM2. You, you the, no, the terrible tower is the second floor. This is actually the easy one. Um, the second floor is why it's irritating. And yes, I don't know why they think excessive encounter rate is fun and exciting. It does work, but so the the reduced encounter gear we put on basically took it from like a, an encounter every step to every like three steps instead. And <laughs> And uh, Garuda's, I mean, Garuda's worth getting, so I would recommend you get her. Um, it's not, not like a must-have instantly, but uh, wait, did I, did I miss a spot? Why is that grayed out? Oh, yeah, I missed a, I, I, I missed the doorway. Well, we got to backtrack. Yeah, the funny thing is, the first floor is smaller and easier than the second floor. The second floor is enormous, and it's just a huge headache. OMG. Yeah, so we gotta go back. I missed the door. Here it is. Alright. First mini boss. And this will unlock, I think, the. Re oh, nope. No, no mini boss. I lied. I lied! But now, now, now we can walk on fire. Uh, so, looking at my map real quick, we need to go back and and now we have a map. Okay, yes, create a map. Oh, your your game freezes too. Yeah, it's kind of irritating. I'm not sure why it does that now. Uh, so let me look at my walkthrough map. Now we're going to go... We need to unlock the... The blue crystals now to the northern... East. Okay. We're going this way. We need, to, we need to turn off the... Blue... Oh, we're not getting in fights! Look at that! Did we, did, did we, did we turn off the encounter rate? Oh my god, I hope we really did. Okay, so now, now we can walk on blue flames. So now we need to There we go. Now we need to come back here. All right, hold on. The map's a little confusing to read. So we need to go all the way. I do know that we need to unlock the orange things from later. <laughs> and then the blue turn the encounters back on. I hope not. Um, so we can't... We do need to backtrack, but there's no point backtracking yet. We need to go unlock the barriers. Yeah, they're, they're that, We actually did unlock an area near the beginning, but there's a barrier we need to lower. We, we can't fully explore that area yet. So we're going to go this way to the thermostat room. Now the thermostat room, you, you can control more of the barriers. <laughs> yeah, the encounter rates turned back on. 
All right, so now we have, yeah, this is the first mini boss. Okay. Let's go ahead and defeat him. All right, by memory, most of the mini bosses can be OTK'd. Oh, shoot. I didn't bring a way to dispel. Oh, my God. I literally didn't bring a way to dispel. Didn't bring an Esper. We can't use items. We failed the mission. And we can't fail the mission because we can't come back in here. Seriously? What, what, what is that mission? Oh, no, no. Obtain all items. We can use items. No, I, items are fine. Okay. Yep, so items are fine. There we go. So we do this. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Got him. Okay. Okay. So we're good. We're good. And there we go. Alright, so that is apparently a glitched boss, so don't fool with him again. Um, so here's here's the barriers I was talking about. So currently, they're all up. Um, well, uh, apparently yes, it, it is broken and you can't come back in. But I'm I, I'm I'm assuming they're going to fix that. So probably either hot fix by tomorrow or you know next maintenance, etc. There we go. Yeah, I, 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 I'm sure. I'm sure they're gonna fix it. You know, eventually. Probably by maintenance, at the latest. All right. So here is the room that controls. Oh, I gotta adjust the map. There we go. This is the room that controls the the barriers. Okay, okay, so I want to lower the orange barrier. Let me look at the wiki real quick. Three red orbs removes the orange barrier. That's what we want. We want three red orbs. Okay, so let's go. Now we gotta backtrack yet again. The orange barrier is down. So now we go back to the beginning of the map and get our crowns for Nelica and all that. So, all the way back this way. Oh, you can just walk around the bosses? I didn't even realize that. Well, that makes it a little bit easier, I guess. Um, well, yes. So, okay, so on JP, I did this tower. The minute it came out, there was no guide, no information. We've never seen it before. And also, it was in Japanese, so I couldn't even read it. Um, and yes, I, I still beat it. Uh, during the opening night when the tower came out, it was me. I think, I forget, okay, I might forget. I think it was me, Deep, Ikeber. I think the three of us were talking in Discord and figuring out, like, you know, we, we were trying different combinations. Like, I, I would go, I, I went and said, like, you know, I played with the orbs, and I was like, okay, turning on three orbs is how I unlocked the the orange barriers, etc. We basically just, you know, talked to each other and worked it out. And we figured it out. So there's a secret over here, right there. And that crown right there hidden in the wall, that took us a long time to figure out how to get that for the last mission. We, could, we, could, we couldn't find that box. It was hidden in the wall. But now, now we have the wiki and all, and now, you know, it's all it's all, all that walkthrough isn't easy. But yeah, so as far as how to figure it out, um, just like we did, we spent like a long time in here uh, trial and error. And it was fun. 
But yeah, that 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 hidden chest right there took 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 us a long time to figure out how how, how to get there. <laughs> And here, so right here is a little thing. These were orange barriers. If we had come here too early, there'd be orange barriers blocking our way. But because we went and turned on three orbs, that lowered the orange barrier. Uh, that, no, that, that, this is actually permanent content. So this, this is not an event. Uh, I keep closing chat by accident. Stop it! There we go. Okay. And let's see. Oh yeah, the the encounters are terrible. Oh my god, here we go again. <laughs> All right. I'm just hoping that I can I can find a properly built Typhus for the second floor. To make it easy. <laughs> and let's grab this. And let's see here. And there we go. Another crown. Now we go back to the next level. Um, let me just double check that we got everything we did. Don't re-challenge the boss. All right, now we'll go back to the orb room. And I think this time we're going to lower the white barrier. So the white barrier requires one orb activated. So let's go turn on just one orb. So we turn this off, turn this off, one orb on. Lowers the white barrier, the orange barrier is back, but that's okay. So we go through here. And this is another mini boss, I think. Or not. All right, lowered one of the barriers. Uh, the Tybus build is just 200% accuracy, is all that really matters. All right, um, so that was done. Now let's lower the red barrier, which is going to require all four orbs activated. All right, nope, not there. Yep, that is there actually. So we need all four orbs for the red barrier to go down. And now we're gonna go this way. And the red barrier right here is down so now we can go in here and turn on the other flame and the blue barrier is back up it's okay we'll lower that in a minute all right uh let's see next we need the green barrier down green barrier requires Wait. Oh, the, hold on. Violet, white, orange, red. Oh, no, that's, that's actually not a green barrier. That's a... Yeah, okay, no, we're good. We're good. Okay, so actually we should be good at this point. So now we can go to the last two mini ball. I think all the barriers are down in the proper order. So now we can go to over here. And there's a box in here. So apparently we can skip. Hold on. Apparently you can skip. I don't think you can skip mini bosses. I, mean, I, 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 I think you have to do them to get all the boxes. Wouldn't let me skip it. All right, Rod Love, let's go. And these bosses should all be OTKable. If not, we're gonna feel silly. We're trying. Yep, yeah, got him. Yeah, the, the final boss is the only one that's really a big deal. Also, we do have the 50% field activated at the moment. 
I do love Rod Love as a name. That is kind of funny. Alright, so that gives... Oh, nope, nope, nope. Don't want to crash the game. Don't re-challenge. Alright. 20 star ports. And then on the other side, we can go ahead and turn this on. That's from doing the, uh, the, the things earlier. We can do this one as well. Oh, we gotta turn the fire off. We'll come back to that. Alright. This is another mini boss. Chitalalan Tuka. I, I can't say that name. I cannot say that name. Got him. Okay. Alright, so let me just double check. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, so the reason um the reason that box had star quartz in it, that's where Vidar plus one used to be. Uh, and if, if you remember, Gumi changed Vidar plus one to be a, a heroic quest or whatever. So that's why they replaced it with Star Quartz. I was kind of wondering why they took Vidar out of the tower, but uh, whatever. Alright, so now with all the flames off, we should be able to turn this on. Perfect. And now we can go to the final boss. But before we do, we're going to go turn the flames back on for the Amplify so our Tyvuses deal more damage. And let's give it a go. Oh, nope, not yet. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the Gruta Tower is very, very late. Like, we should have gotten it, you know, based on when JP got it, uh, like, two months ago. It came around the, what banner? Like, around the Zack banner or something like that? I think. But it's here now. So here's the final boss. This one, we're probably not going to OTK, so we're going to take it a little bit more seriously. But we do only have five turns to win for the mission, so... It should be fine. Stop Link a banner? Okay. Okay, so it wasn't that long ago, I guess. Um, so we are preemptively broken. Alright, so Yish is going to break. Um... And peril and whatever. Let's come back to you. Tybuses are going to let's see here. Amp this. I'm not losing anything. Friend Tybus. Ill material will do let's see here. Cow. Honestly, what is guard? <laughs> Il Mateo. So I want to do Il Mateo's LB, but I also don't. I also want to do status immunity. Oh, she can't do status immunity. That's Ihana. I brought the wrong unit. I should have brought Ihana. Whoops. Oh well. It's probably going to be fine. Like, the bosses aren't super hard, honestly. And we do have 80% mitigation from Ronda, so... Oh, yeah. That's... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Tyvus. No, no! Damn it! Oh, jeez. Is there a no-death mission? No. So, mine died and lost my Amplify... Because I wasn't using fire resist. Apparently I should have been. That's fun. It's 
probably fine. Question mark. <laughs> um, let's see here. Well, if mine hadn't died, we would, we would have been okay. Um, unfortunately, I have no healing either. So this is exciting. Items are allowed. Oh good, he didn't do anything. We win! There we go. Okay, we got it. <laughs> okay, so so wear fire resist, bring a source of healing, um, etc. Basically just wear fire resist. So we're good. And yeah, the difference of having an amplifier or not. And there we go. I hate the way it says that. Abandon exploration. It makes it sound like you're going to just retreat and not, not keep everything. They, they, they really should change the uh, the wording. It should say, like, finish exploration. And we got all four crowns. Etc. All missions. And we got the plus one recipe, etc. Now we can go to level two, which we're going to make some small changes. No continues. Obtain all items uh, within five turns for the thingy. So season four only. Please find a Tyvus with proper build. I did ask some friends last night, so this one is not proper build. Gert, you're failing me, bro. Soma. I think I saw Soma in chat earlier. They did, did you build properly? Oh, this looks right. That's perfect. So am I going to carry it. So let's go. Love it. Alright, so we need some healing and all that kind of stuff. So healing will be... That's a healing source. Uh, proper build will be just uh, accuracy, basically, in all the slots. Um, so that'll be healing. Let's go ahead and toss a... Um, We'll grab one source of Esper. We're not gonna we're not gonna put a ton of Esper fill. That's fine. Um, let me swap you to a more. That's fine. There we go. Um, let's see here. What else? What else did we need? We wanted sources of dispel, so that'll handle that. Uh, I guess we can use Carbuncle for resistances, and honestly, we don't need this. Source of status immunity in case we need it. Okay. This should be good. Alright, one second, let me update my map to level 2. Sealed power level 2. And I want to thank, if you're watching, Rayhan for making these maps for the wiki. Because they are extremely helpful. Alright, let me adjust the map so I can see this plus chat at the same time. Oh, the freaking the obsidian. I did forget it. You know, we could come... Well, I'm not, we're not going to need it. We're going to be fine. Um, okay, so now we get to do it basically blind. Uh, it's very, very cloudy in here. So we have no map either. So we have to go here. This way. And here we go. Okay, so now we have 200% accuracy on everything. So we're going to be 
doing... Uh, one sec. I believe, according to JP, the accuracy lets us, from our gear, will let us override this. I have not tested this myself, which I should have, but I, I think it's probably, probably accurate. Let's find out. So ma magic, obviously, will still work. And... Titus Mega. Okay, so this will be so much freaking easier than the JP clear by doing this. Oh, so much easier. By, be, by being able to use Tyvus. That's huge. Um, oh god. Let's see. So, Nelica Crown. Uh, thankfully, the map is right over here. So, we need to go here. And this is the map. This will help a lot. Uh, yeah, lead things to me, vision card would be helpful, and I probably should have done all that. I just didn't. <laughs> it's overall, as, as long as we can use Tybus, this is going to be fine. Uh, the issue was I didn't, I, 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 I didn't realize the accuracy thing in JP, and so therefore I was using, I was literally chaining like Blazega and stuff. It was, it was horrible. Because I didn't realize you could overstack accuracy. I thought accuracy had a cap of 100%. If I had known that, like, I would have been no problem. Yeah. Yeah, so these trash fights would take about four or five turns for Yish and Yish to kill with Blazega. It was, it, it was n not a fun time. <laughs> but with Tybus, we can just OTK it all. Alright. And thankfully, once we start killing the mini-bosses, the fog begins to slowly go away. There we go. see here. So in here we have the first mini boss. Okay. So this one is the Mili Military Hound Omega. Alright, he boosted his spirit. I could care less about that. Alright, yeah, my Tyvus is set in slot 4, if you're on my friends list. This guy took me like 25 turns on JP with, with the Ish. 25 turns. <laughs> OTK'd with Tyvus. Awesome. Yeah, th that, I'm, I'm assuming, does. And it, as, as we kill the mini-bosses, the fog becomes slightly less. Also, the evasion field becomes weaker. So let's see, now we have to go over here. And we can continue to OTK. 150 accuracy field. And there we go. Uh, so the next area is kind of a maze. I don't recall the correct way to go. So we do this. I don't think we activate that orb yet. Or do we? Let's try it. Yeah, okay, that, that, that works. So that's active. This is active. All right. Little confusing. And then we have Garuda at the top. I also don't have a Garuda team planned. I guess we can like just try the, the, um, the Princess Trial team and see if it works. <laughs> it probably will.
All right, let's see here. So we want to load the map. So we want to go up. We can't go up. Does this work? Yes. Here. And there's a mini boss right here, which will reduce the fog a little bit. Noita Lonkanaroja. Wonderful names here. Oh, almost didn't die. You got him. Alright. So now the field is down to only 100% accuracy, and the fog should be slightly lower. And we can grab the recipe for Nelika's fist. Uh, I think we need to turn this back off, though. Yeah, the, the names in Season 4 are all, like, Swedish or Nordic or whatever. Alright, so this... We need to go this way. And down again. Oh, not available. Oh, I see. Hold on, we gotta go. We gotta go back the other way. Oh, like half and half. Gotcha. Why is this map got to be irritating? Alright, so we actually go this way. Oh my god! An encounter every two steps. Um, I'd say it's about the same as about the same as Madame Adele's exploration. Probably. Alright. So we don't wanna go that way yet, I think. I think we wanna activate this. Yeah, that's yeah, that activated that. Perfect. And now we can go here. Uh, it should be a hundred percent at this point. Oh, it is one thing. Oh, oh, that's because that's because that little guy guarding the recipe is not really a mini boss, I don't think, because he actually doesn't respawn. By memory, even when you come back in here, he never respawns. So he's gone forever. So hopefully, you got your lever in. I think. Box number three. Equip light armor. Something global gave us already. So we can come here. Crown is four. Oh yeah, because of the, the skipped events, that is true. Like some collaborations and all, they do have uh, bestiary numbers uh, set into like the you know the bestiary, but we can't access them. That is true. Mm-hmm. Although if they never existed on global, is it technically missing? <laughs> um. So that. Wait a minute. Why? Why do we come here? Oh, we gotta go around this way now. We gotta loop. Yeah, we gotta turn this back on. 
So technically she's not missing. She never existed. I guess. That's one way to look at it. Alright. So... I think from here we have to go to the thing on the right and then loop around. And that should unlock the final room. So we need to turn this on. And that unlocks the door to the final room. Now I need to go this way and get another crown. Continue this way. More fights, of course. Very exciting content. Uh, as far as the repeat thing, you, you have to go into options and turn it on. So in options, you want to turn auto limit burst to on, repeat continuation all battles, repeat type last sequence. This is the important one. Repeat type. So by default, it's off. You want to turn it to repeat last sequence, and then the repeat button will just repeat what your last input was. Which for us, we have it set up to perfectly time the LVs and all that. But yeah, by default, it's turned off. So you gotta you gotta go into option to turn it on. Here we go. And it should be. Yep, we're good. Okay. So in here is another boss. Now this is an actual mini boss that controls the fog and all that. This is the Malboro boss. No, it isn't. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was. Uh, okay, so... Oh my god, Mirage. Why? Why, boss? How many stacks? Alright, it looks like... The Mirage is gone now. Now it's just accuracy. Okay, we got him. Uh, yeah, EX2 Tiber should be fine. As, as, as long as your LB is ready on turn one. And he's not even required, like I said, on JP. I, I didn't even use Typhus because I didn't realize. So, uh, honestly, you can use, like, Yish. You'll just be here for the entire afternoon. <laughs> Alright, so the fog lifted a little. Don't re-challenge the boss. We don't want to break things. Alright, so in here, uh, this is the Malboro room. So we have to... I wonder if we can just... Skip. Okay, so in JP, I found, I think it was this one right here. That had the crown underneath it. It could be random, I don't know. Alright, let me set my timing again because I had it set up different earlier. Got him. Okay. So yeah, so one of these Malbro has a crown under it. You gotta you gotta find it. To get to get the all mission clear. Not that one. Okay, damn it. So I, got, I, 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 I guess it's random. Which one? Which one has it? Also, there's a hidden room in um, in this area with an with a, with an item in it that we have to get to. But we're going to. Come on, where's my crown at? <laughs> hmm. 
Oh my God, Ki Chung, that's terrible. I, I I actually had to do the whole thing over again as well because I forgot the hidden room in here. There there's a hidden room we're gonna go to in just a minute, and I didn't know about it. So I did this whole thing and then had to do it again. Here's our crown right there. Boom, got it. Okay, so that now we go turn on the light switch, which will open the windows. Now we can go to the hidden room down here that I missed in JP. How do we get there? Oh, there it is. And get a master's crown. Yeah. And that was our last item. So we're good on items. Now we go to the final boss, which is Igon. And we hope to not die. All right. So we're going to do setup again. Um, I'm almost tempted to use his 99% mitigation, but we're not. Uh, let's see. Let's big break, AOE break. Okay, actually, we're gonna. No, we're gonna. Hold on. We're going. Okay, no, I don't wanna risk timing it wrong. Alright, hold on. So we're going to big break, bursting break, full breakdown. So we're going to big break, and then change target. Alright, and Rhonda will. LB for the mid. Alright. So please don't die on turn one. Oh my god, Yish. Alright, thankfully we gave Yish the good. We'll come back to you. I wonder if we can kill the arms on turn one. Or turn two. Okay, so the difference of Tyvis versus Yish is pretty huge. Pretty huge. That was easy. And now the good news is, when you return here, the fog is gone forever. So if you can't do that, you can um, you can come in here and slow clear it, and then uh, here's Garuda, here's Garuda. You can slow clear it and then come back afterwards and the accuracy field will be gone. Permanently. So the accuracy field never comes back. And if you don't have Yish, um, Tulian is a breaker as well. Tulian is a Season 4 breaker. If you don't have Yish or Tulian, um, Javi is also a Season 4 breaker. So hopefully you've got one of those three to be your breaker. And there we go. Garuda is now unlocked. <clears throat> Got everything. Hopefully we didn't miss anything. Got it all. Outstanding. Alright. Now we come back over here. Yeah, Tool Tool and EX2 should be fine. Yeah, he can do his LB on turn one. Just remember that Tulian, Yish, etc., their LBs do not break attack and magic. So if you're not turn one killing, you're going to want to use um, a different uh, break, like a bursting break, etc. You mean from the vision world? Um, vision world is now closed, so if you didn't farm it uh, too late. So, yes, they are worth crafting, and you should have crafted them. But um, if you didn't at this point, it's too late. Yeah, the game the game freezes frequently on like maps and main screen. I don't know why. But yeah, Bashy, uh, you're a little late on Vision World. It's closed now. Mm. 
Uh, I am using BlueStacks version 4.2, so yes, it is definitely outdated. I tried to update BlueStacks to a, a newer version, and it it like kept crashing, so I just didn't bother, and I've kept it the same for like years. But I'm sure using an older version is probably part of the problem. And there we go. Now we have Garuda unlocked. Alright, so before we do Garuda... There we go. We're going to go pop over and do our crowns and stuff. Before I forget. First place on Vision World? Very nice. That'll be 10,000 Lapis for you in two weeks. Alright, so we're going to upgrade Van Harma's armor. And we're going to upgrade Benelica's fist. There we go. Um, whoops. Is Nelica's Fist flat attack power stackable? 200% uh, ne Necro. 200% will give you an always connect. Uh, let's see. 650 attack power. It is stackable, huh? Let's just find out. Well, yeah, no, no, Leo. The the upgrade is one handed. Yeah, by default it's two handed. When upgraded, it's one handed. Um, so, do I even have? Oh my God. I don't even have a second copy, but th okay, thankfully I moogled my original copy, my duplicate, so yeah, we can make a second. We'll try it real quick. Um, we should be able to, I guess we're going to find out right now. Let's find out. I have no idea. And while we're here, we can go ahead and do our silver crowns. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just a regular upgrade. It costs like a, a million gil per upgrade, but, you know, who cares about gil? And right there, we get true dual wield cap that makes her actually useful. And you know, in the calculations I did, I didn't use a two, two of her TMRs. I used... In calculation, just a regular Dark Visions fist, I think, in the offhand. So I have to fix that if it stacks, which we'll find out in just a second. Oh, very nice. Okay, so it does stack. I will fix my calculations on my spreadsheet later tonight. I didn't have a second copy either, but thankfully I had, had TMR moogled a... Uh, a duplicate, so I, I, could, I could Google the um, the original copy and get a second one. Alright. Let's see. Shop. Not shop. Craft. Oh my god. Menu Exvius. Uh, Tyvus has 25% naturally Necro. So his, one of his natural passives is 25% accuracy. So that, that's just a uh, plain old type of thing. Oh, you know, I forgot about Carlet. I actually should upgrade her, too. Alright, let's see here. So, let's do this. Let's give her offhand... Just a generic offhand. I'm gonna go Scarlet Glove. Oh, okay, so, three, eight, seven, nine. Oh yeah, it definitely stacks. Okay, it stacks. Absolutely. Nice. So while we're here, Carlet. I forgot about Carlet. Hold on. 
let's retrieve from reserves. That should be EX2, right? Or EX3? Uh, are one of these potted? I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever used Carlet. Yeah, I've, I've literally never used her. Wait a minute, here's the 121. Your LB's not ready. Ah, oh, let's go with a fresh one. Whoops. Two EX3? Nice. I guess actually two EX3s would be useful, wouldn't it? Because then you could, um, you know, self-chain and all. <laughs> uh, should I use one of my 237 Omniprisms? Nah. Well, actually, you know what? We are going to because then I can just make a second, second, and like do videos with two of your own Carlet because she is USCable. use on the prisms that often so they build up we don't really have a lot of good uses for them these days now look at that I, I fragmented it exactly enough there we go. And let's see here. All right, we're gonna enhance her and I'll do all this later. Is there even anything worth enhancing? Like all that matters is her LB. So refer to description. So boost, that doesn't even matter. But we'll do this anyway. This is a mod boost. Uh, for Dark Vision, she should be good. She She's going to need either Rain or uh, Zidane as a leader because she's a wind unit. So Zidane or Rain for Brave Exvius to be her leader. She doesn't have any good like categories. Like she's not a rebel. She's not stuff like that. But um, yeah, she's pretty good. And we're not going to enhance all this magic. I don't care. What is this? Aquatic creation? Never heard of that. Whatever. Anyway, we have Carla now. Oh, let me finish actually leveling there. Is that why we couldn't enhance anything else? She was too low a level? Nope. Okay, anyway, what were we doing? Oh yeah, Garuda. Let's go ahead and try Garuda. So Garuda is very likely going to need a proper team, which we don't really have set up. We'll just stick it this way, whatever. Uh, we're actually finished with the tower now, but uh, I, I probably will go back and do um, like a guide on uh, on you for YouTube for the tower. Yeah, doing pretty good, Antonio. So the only thing left really now is uh, is Garuda, huh? So wind damage, lightning damage, and defeat with an LB. Uh, let's see if we can find a Ricked friend again. Uh-oh. Alright, there's one. I'd rather an EX3 if possible. Let's go for the, let's go, go for the whales. Uh, no whales available, so a gold as it is. Let's give it a go. Yeah, the spider, the spider lady uh, turned out to be v not easy, but easier than expected. On global, yeah, we, we crushed the queen and on the first try, got it in I think eleven turns. Uh, it, it was not it was not really that hard at all. And this is the party we used for the queen trial. So, all right, so we're gonna try the the special medallion way or whatever. Um, 
this is probably not going to work because you need to do it very specifically and I I don't have any idea how to do the metal. We're going to try. So we're going to literally just blindly go in here and start hitting the boss and hope, hope it works. So we need to do a lightning and wind damage for the mission. That's now done. And then we're going to... Do we need Mirage? Probably, but we're not going to. Alright. Hmm. We don't have Bird Killer either. I don't think it's going to matter. <laughs> it probably will matter. Let's find out. Let's do Minutes of Might too. Um, Sylvie. Like, let's just do Resist All. And... Let's do some Mirage, just in case. And for you, let's do cover and some breaks, I guess. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Okay, that didn't do, like, anything. Well, we turned on hard mode. Or did we? It says boost, wind, and lighten. I can't click the field. Oh, there it is. 25%? That ain't that big a deal. Need Malphazy power? I definitely probably need a, a, a serious team for this. Uh, I I just threw together whatever, and now we're just, like, doing stuff. <laughs> but, yeah, for, for winning the fight, we're probably going to need, like, a, a real team. Quite get enough. All right. If it's if it's going to be one percent a turn, we're 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 not going to we're not going to do that on stream. We're trying to turn on hard mode so that for some reason hard mode didn't turn on. Alright, here we go. N now it's on hard mode. Okay, so now... Maybe... We can actually hurt the boss. Oh! Oh my god. I'm just realizing. Okay, look at the resistances. Okay, so the resistance window shows you the lowest resist. Currently, the lowest resist is non-elemental at 50%, meaning the imperiled light resist is currently above 50. So that's part of the problem here, is light is definitely the wrong element. Let me go ahead and lever this boss. I don't, I'm not sure about the... Or we're going to come back in in a second. Let me go ahead and just lever the boss. Where's analysis? Oh my god. So that's the problem. Uh, yeah, so we need an imperil field. So... Now Phasey's not going to work, because as we see up here, the boss puts up his own imperil field and removes it. So we're going to have to... So we need an imperil field on demand. Who would be a good one? Nora is 35 on demand. Um... Nicole or Secure will be 50 on demand. You got to summon an Esper. We, we, we can summon an Esper every turn. Uh, I guess we could use Sylvie with Sylvie with Secure. In Ingus, in Ingus is 35 on demand. Yeah, we could use Ingus. Uh, it's 35 on demand. Um, I think. We're going to... So what would be the best possible imperil? Oh god. Oh god. So, honestly speaking, the literal best imperil would be... Um, uh, what's her name? Ella Spiris, wouldn't it? 
Because <laughs> Ellis Ferris is 160 plus 40. Actually, no. Better than that would be... Laguna and Nicole for 210. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No. Okay, so we're, we're gonna go ahead and try... Let's try Secure. Yeah, we'll try Secure with Thunder. So I guess Melissa is going away. Let's go ahead and save this party. This was the Princess Trial. Worked out well. Oh, actually, let me... Real quick. Let me fix... For my princess trial. I want to go back later. Alright, there we go. And we'll load up princess trial and we'll adjust from there. I still have time for Brother Spirits. You know, I I have I've been tempted to use some tickets or pull the Ellis Spirits card. Because I do want that card, and I do want her TMR and STMR, but like, I, the problem with Edelspear, I feel like just pulling for her is like supporting such a bad design decision, and I don't want to do it. So even though I really want to pull for that Vision card, I'm just not going to, like, on principle. Because she, she, she irritates me so much. Like, the fact that Gumi is making these terrible, terrible units. Like, I just, it, it, it's, it's too irritating for me. So, let's see, turn this, uh, Secura, we still don't have Bird Killer, but that's probably fine. Or I move for the field, uh, let's see, we do need a bunch of Esper fill. that should be fine. That much. Honestly, Ace, I could care less about your damage. You're, you're here for support. So you're going to be our Esper filler. Um, and you. Okay. I'll give this a try. Oh, uh, unfortunately, I have never pulled a single copy of Dark Lineage Sakura. So I don't have her at all. Alright, let's try this again. Let's see here. Um, doesn't he have burst? He does have burst. Wow. So he can imperil for us. Uh, mirage for us. Unfortunately, he can't imbue thunder for us. But we got other units that can do that. Whatever. Alright. Field. Sylvie will light, lightning imbue. Oh, much better. Oh my god, much better. <laughs> much better. Okay. All 
All right, so he replaced our fields, which is fine. We can put him back up. Uh, let's see. Let's start amping. All right, this might be a mistake to do it this way. So we're not really we're not really using good mitigations right now. I'm kind of like just going heavy offense, which may or may not be a good thing, but whatever. Yeah, he's doing fields again. Uh, reduces damage. How much? Put up the field again. Absolute Voltine. No, let's not do that. All right, this is this is gonna break the chain all over the place. I don't care. We can't we can't get rid of that. Damage is very, very low. We gotta just w w wait it out, I guess. So we'll just mirage you. Um, oh well. So when, when the field goes away, we will... Or when the buff goes away, we'll try to burst again. Seems easy so far. Oh, unfortunately, we wasted our good Amplify on Sylvie. Oh, well, let's try it again. Let's Amp. And Defense Offense. From Brazil? Very nice. Wait a minute. Let me... Fourteen, fourteen, absolute. Fourteen, fourteen, absolute. Fourteen, uh, fourteen, fourteen. Secura will do. Oh yeah, yeah, the, like just Abigail by herself is just straight up amazing for global. Alright, so next turn we get to deal damage. Let's do a big stat buff. Ace can do, let's make this count. We can just chain this up again. I guess we can imbue and you. I don't know. Uh, cause the breaks pit caster. I'm, I'm I'm mostly I'm mostly just like passing my turn for the most part. Uh, oh, we have a crystal. Yeah, I have no idea what the boss is doing. Like stuff is happening. I'm just like fighting and kind of doing whatever. Um, oh my god. Boost, lightning, win. That's a lot of boost. Uh, it looked like... It looked like the boss miraged... Oh, the boss is miraging. Alright, so Ace, you're obviously not going to be in this one. Ace is going to handle us because the boss is miraging. So, let's do this. I don't think Ace has AoE, does he? An AoE physical type? Oh, he does. Alright, there we go. Mirage is done. Perfect. So now we can LB. We can LB. 
I'm a little concerned about... Oh, wait a minute. Where'd the buffs go? Oh, the buffs are on these things. Okay, well, whatever. Oh my god, I didn't remove the field. I forgot about the field. I could reset the turn, I'm not going to. We're gonna keep going. Oh my god, I wasted my huge burst. We, we, we can always come. Trust me, if, if I... If, my, my, my game on emulator loads... If I reset the turn, uh, we'd be here for 20 minutes. <laughs> not that long, more like 8 minutes, but it's really extremely slow to... Uh, to reset the app for me. Alright. So a lot of bad stuff happened. Um, but we'll deal with it. So the field is still up. So we're going to want to... Dispel the boss. To get rid of all that, uh, which means we need now to break the boss and imperil the boss. So we can do an LB here. It's fine. There, 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 there's no turn count. Oh, this stupid thing again. That's fine. We, we just need to, next time we burst to realize and not not mess it up for us. Uh, let's go to the base form. Can Sylvie AoE re-raise? Does anyone know? Does she have AoE re-raise in her kit somewhere? Because I kind of want AoE re-raise. I know we can single target re-raise with... Oh, actually we can't re-raise with... I thought Abigail had re-raise, but I guess not. Oh, her normal attack! You're absolutely right. Yes, indeed. Yes, she can. Okay, we're good. We're good. Because if you notice, we, we kind of lost people earlier. <laughs> We're probably going to lose them again. So we got to be, be ready for that. Let's do contingency. Scar Ace, whatever. All right. So, two more turns. Let's go ahead and use Sylvie to LB here. Alright, I'm going to do the Ramping Amplify on mine. And we can burst you. do this. Okay. Refreshing the game? What for? It's, it's worth working so far. Oh, we're here to a Rick. Oh, yeah. It, it, like, looking for a friend is, like, the worst. The worst part of Brave Exvius. Alright. One of these is going to do their cooldown for Perfect to Spell next turn. Um, literally whatever. And you can make this count. Um, Sylvie will, let's see, Bolt Egg. Let's go to the base form. Bunch of buffs. Can guard you and you. Let's go ahead and I 
I think we're gonna Omni cover next turn and try to try to make this work. All right, so the field, the shield goes down. So I think this is when the boss does. Yeah, the crystals and all. Okay, okay. All right. So this time, remember the field's got to go away. So we're going to. Get rid of the field. You're gonna get rid of Mirage. There we go. LB, LB, um. Yeah, we perfect dispelled the buffs away with Rick, who we actually knew about it this time. Let's do some damage. Hey, we killed the crystals. All right, let's re-raise and let's go ahead and Omni cover and see if that makes us survive better. Okay, that was a lot better. Oh my God, this barrier! What is? Do we really? Is this really going to be the whole fight? Where we do this, like... 8% per burst or something. This is pretty, <laughs> pretty dull encounter. If it's just bulk and stupid shield over and over. Let's see. Hopefully, that was because we crossed the fifty percent threshold. Is why that happened. So two turns. So this. Uh, unfortunately, well, for one thing, Rick's uh, buff thing is only available in Clash of Wills, but also it's only for stat buffs. It doesn't work for like mitigation buffs. And this is a, this is actually a just, this is a general mitigation. So even even if even if we could use it in normal fights, um, we couldn't for that kind of a buff. Uh, Kaito is the only one that can do it outside of Clash of Wills. And the funny thing is, Kaito's was originally, it seemed like, intended to be Clash of Wills only. But because, like, the news said it could be used anywhere, because of, like, you know, false advertising or whatever, they kind of had to make it usable everywhere after that. And, uh, so now, now we can do Kaito's anywhere. This is kind of cool. Um... This is a normal attack. Yeah, I don't know, whatever. Reverse Steam next turn. Alright. I hope that was a threshold. That stupid boss's thing. Alright, here we go again. Yep, all this stuff. Oh, it would be nice if Kaito could do his breaks uh, outside of class. His, his 90 breaks. Alright. You know, if we... Is Sylvie AoE or single target? Oh, and she's single target, damn. Okay. That means we kind of have to use Ace to get rid of the Mirage.
All right, let's re-raise. Unfortunately, we're not Omni-Covering this turn. It's probably going to be fine. Yeah, so the problem last time was we, we didn't dispel. So we have to dispel, obviously. Oh, hey, look at that. Look at that. His, his buff is not there. We, we can burst again. Oh, he buffed to resist. Oh, that sucks. Oh, actually, Kaito will perfect the spell alone. What is going on? We must have crossed threshold or something. I don't know. Oh, shoot. Abigail got killed. Wow. Unexpected. Yeah, I didn't expect that. A Abigail got killed. Mirage again? Oh, we love Mirage. We love Mirage. Not really. Um, let's Mirage our party and get rid of the boss's Mirage. Ace is working out. Alright. Uh, we have two options here. I think... Yeah, we're gonna do it this way. Let's burst again. Alright, Abigail is going to... Are these things broken? They are. How much? 87? That's fine. So, we're gonna Omni-cover. No. We're gonna regular cover, Omni-cover, and Shelga. Super important there. Um, we didn't counter much either. All right, I really want to LB again. Like, really want to LB again. Uh, we're gonna use we're gonna use the the cooldown on Secure for this. Let's go ahead and imbue. Let's. Fortification for the LB fill and burst. Oh, we're not quite enough LB gauge, which is fine. We can do it this way. Let's defense, compassionate, and physical mitigation. Hey, we can even SOB ace for once. Oh, we gotta dispel the boss, too. Enemy analysis. There we go. I wish we, I wish we, I wish we had a bird killer buff. Oh, one more burst. One more burst. Come on, game. Don't kill me now. We don't have good mitigation right now on, uh... Oh, it didn't even matter. Oh, the, the buff is up. Awesome. Alright, so three turns of this buff.
<laughs> the boss missed for 10 turns. I hope not. I hope not. But uh, this should be the win in three turns. Wind swirls around Garuda. What does that do? No idea. Can I just say Abigail is like the best unit ever? Her auto attack? Who's auto attack? Alright, this is a little concerning. Because we can't... Oh my god, there goes... Oh shoot. Oh my god. Well, that's not cool. Yeah, I should have, I should have, um... Uh... Alright, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Hopefully the boss doesn't do anything crazy. It seems like some turns the boss goes nuts, other turns it's fine. Like right now, like nothing's even happening. And we should perfect dispel the boss's buffs away. We did. No mirage. So it's go time. The boss's field the field is up. Got it. All right, and if you're curious, as far as the friend, um, the friend was geared perfectly for the princess trial, which is good, which is good. I mean, people should be gearing for that trial. And the rest of the party was the same as, uh, the same as our princess, princess, princess fight. Okay, so we got the metal first try completely blind. I literally never did that in JP. Um, the friend was the max on bird killer, which is totally fine. Uh, and yeah. There we go. Oh, hey, we, we, did, we, did, we did the special mission, too. <laughs> uh, the queen. The, I, I call her princess because uh, the JP server called her the evil princess. Uh, but apparently she's a queen. Oh, yeah, Roka's special quest. What? What? Not that I care about a Moogle, but... Oh, oh, well, the good news is, the good news is... Okay, watch this. We, we can go back and no problem. No problem. We can just... We, 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 we can just do this the, 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 the cheat way. Oh, you told us in chat to do the win mission? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's fine, though. It's fine. So, so here's the way you would do the... If you just want to unlock the Esper, this is what you would do you would bring someone with wind or lightning magic. So, the Garuda's words echo in your mind. Prove your strength. Uh, offer unto me wind magic. So here we go. So, to offer wind magic, we're gonna have Aisha's Tornado. While the rest of the party will guard. And there we go, we, now we've done wind, we've done wind damage. Okay, next, uh, offering to be lightning magic. Yeah, the problem was, um, I did, but I think because we didn't imperil the boss, it didn't actually deal wind damage, so it didn't count. Because uh, I, I, I used Aroga, and it, the boss was 225 resist. So now we're going to do lightning damage, and we just hang out.
In light of your valor, I shall forgive your transgressions. Bye, Felicia. And we win. So that's how you would do it if you don't want to go through the whole headache of, of actually killing the boss. And that'll give us the last mission. There we go. Now we all missioned Garuda. <laughs> and now we can go... Does that guy even give anything for the mission? I, I never actually killed Garuda on the JP server. I just did the, the, the cheese. <laughs> King Giyot and Shantoto. Alright, and then we're going to go and level up our Garuda. And then I guess that's kind of it for the stream. Then I'm going to go have some lunch, and then I'll start working on some YouTube videos uh, with like proper guides and all for these fights. Starting with the um, the Queen trial. It's going to load. It does this, for those of you that have just joined the stream. It freezes every now and then on the world map or the, the home screen for me. But it'll go in like 30 seconds. There it is. Alright. Did you give me anything good, bro? What's my reward? A hundred Lapin. Yay. Okay. And yeah, so that guy also will give you will unlock level three of uh, the tower, but that just came out in JP, so we're four to six months away from level three. I haven't actually done level three in JP yet. It came out like two days ago. I just haven't done it yet. I need to get to it, but I've been busy with Sea of Stars. Very, very fun game. Alright, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and claim our rewards real quick. Oh, is it? Magical bug killer on her? I barely even looked at Garuda and JP, so this is kind of my first time checking her out. So let's go ahead and whoop, let's go ahead and look. Well actually resist. So we've got wind and lightning resist. Um, blind immunity, and then water and earth down. Alright. Uh, what color does she use? Alright, I got 6,000 of these, and 6,000 of these we'll use... A thousand of each for now. I don't know why I'm being conservative with my ores. Like they, we get one 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 esper for three years at this point. I don't think it's gonna matter, but whatever. All right, let's go ahead and just max her out. Whatever. And there we go. So now let's go ahead and go to her board, and we're gonna just learn everything. That's a tiny board. And sufficient skill points. Let's try that again. Um, let's see. So, 426 of these. Let's go ahead and use... That should be enough, I guess. I hope at least. So yeah, these seem to be mostly magical killers. Alright, how much... How many ores do we still need? Alright, math time. So, 75 plus 60 plus 45 plus 150. We need 330 points to max her out. feather. Oh, I didn't even know she had this. 
Oh, that's super cool. That's a mirage with, without using a um, without using the, the thousand needles. That's awesome. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Anyway, so you're looking for the stats. Here you go. So, uh, oh, the game. So the game won't let you overcap an Esper's um, SP. That's pretty cool. So overall, yeah, Garuda stats are not super great. You know, 63, 68 as composed to like her. You know. 140, so definitely a lot. Uh, no, Mirage doesn't stack. So Mirage is one of those weird buffs in the game of Brave Exvius where Mirage actually overwrites itself no matter what. Whereas like if you use like a 400% stat buff and then you use like a 300% stat buff, they they exist simultaneously and the the highest one takes 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 place. Mirage is not like that. Mirage, the most recent one, overrides all the rest. So if you, for example, did Sylvie's 5-stack Mirage and then 1,000 Needles, Needles will erase Sylvie's complete stack and replace it with a 1-stack. So there you go. Um, I think Garuda just got a 2-star in JP. Uh, we got a new new level in the tower. Um, I didn't do it yet, but uh, there you go. Yeah, it's kind of annoying the way the way it works that way, the way um, Mirages don't don't properly work or don't properly stack yeah but uh i guess that's the content we did it all huh so we did we did the queen we did sheraton we did both floors of the tower and we i wasn't even planning to do the hard mode of garuda i was, I was planning to go in there and garuda and just like see the fight and we ended up actually doing it all missions so that was a little nice surprise <laughs> i kind of thought i'd have to properly plan it out but yeah, I guess that's kind of it for the stream, so I'm going to grab some food and then go back. Oh yeah, the Roka Crowns. How, how, how do we actually do that? So the Roka Crowns are a special mission we got to do up here. We did that. and Oh, we did them all. Uh, so clear the tower and clear Garuda. Oh, that's easy enough. So I guess let's go ahead and crown crown Roka too. But yeah, I'm gonna uh, later today. I should have some YouTube standalone videos for uh, the princess, the the queen trial. Um. Dark Fina, maybe, if you need her for dark support. Uh, Cyan, definitely not. Definitely not Cyan. He's he's no good. But Dark Fina is pretty decent. Um, you might want to use like at least one crown on Dark Fina for her field. I think her field only needs one crown, and that's all that really matters. Uh, as far as crowning Fina's like, modifier boost, that's irrelevant. And there we go. She's all leveled. Nah, I'm not going to level that. But okay. Yeah, R R R Roka's decent. Um, the problem with Roka is, you know, she's Earth, which is not super great, but uh, usable. Anyway, there is the stream. Hope it was enjoyable. I will see you guys for YouTube videos later this evening. Later.